Leaving Glasgow. Glasgow is the biggest and most vibrant city in Scotland. Over half a million people live here. It was once an industrial centre, known worldwide for its heavy engineering, iron and steel production and shipbuilding. Today it's been transformed into an exciting metropolis, where you can enjoy an array of shops, clubs and so much more. The city has a wonderfully lively music scene, some stunning architecture, great galleries, museums and theatres, as well as fantastic parks and open spaces. Glasgow is built on the banks of the River Clyde, Scotland's third longest river, which rises in the southern hills of Scotland over 100 miles away. Its freshwater and tidal reaches have long been important to the local economy. But it was only after the shallow waters of the Lower Clyde had been dredged that heavy shipping could be brought right into the centre of Glasgow. This sparked massive industrial expansion in the 19th and 20th centuries. Clyde shipbuilding became known the world over and stretched for miles along the banks of this river. You can still see signs of the vast wealth it brought to shipping magnates and other industrialists. They built grand mansions in the city, surrounding them with parks and gardens. They built summer houses too, further along the Clyde coast, where their families could enjoy the outdoors and clean fresh air. Gradually, the City Council adopted similar ideas, providing green open spaces for the people of Glasgow. One of the best loved of these green spaces is Glasgow's Botanic Gardens, which were founded on the north side of the Clyde over 150 years ago. The gardens are internationally renowned for their huge glass houses, fine mature trees and numerous plants grown from seeds collected abroad. You might think plant collecting expeditions are part of another age, but in fact there was one to Papua New Guinea as recently as 1987. Within the gardens you can follow wooded walkways along the River Kelvin, which is one of the tributaries of the Clyde. They're part of a network of footpaths for exploring Glasgow, moving easily from the heart of the city centre to some peaceful green spaces. Some paths take you further afield, even as far as the start of the West Highland Way at Milgai on the outskirts of the city. Each year, thousands of people trek along this famous long-distance footpath all the way to Fort William, 100 miles to the north. The largest public park in Glasgow is Pollock Park on the south side of the Clyde. It was originally the private grounds of Pollock House and its gardens and avenues include plantings of numerous trees from abroad. It was gifted to the city in 1966. Locals and visitors from other parts of Glasgow enjoy picnicking, cycling and walking in the park. They also come to see the world-famous Burrell Collection, along with tourists from far and wide. This display of fine and applied art was gathered together around 100 years ago by a wealthy Glasgow shipping tycoon and is available today for everyone to enjoy. The River Clyde has taken some time to recover from its industrial past, but there have been some dramatic changes. The waters are now so fresh that salmon and trout swim here once more. And if you walk through the old Glasgow Docklands, you'll now find new housing, new walkways and new trees. Today, there are countless ways to enjoy the outdoors in and around Glasgow.